Good morning, everybody. I'm going to try something a little different today. Welcome in. It's me, Marius Frost. So today, I want to do a quick video on gardening in one's human. Uh, I've got currently my pipes and wires hidden, so things uh, aren't quite so messy. Wants to show up. It's being weird. Uh, there it goes. So it's it's a mess. It's a mess, but it works. So we're going to go over it from the start all the way through the process. I'll hide the pipes and we'll show you them as we go. And hopefully this can help some of you with this uh, with this gardening system because things don't always make sense. So to start things off, no, hey, get down. To start things off we got our pumps here. They're in water. The zone I'm in, this allows water, clean water. And I have the pumps elevated. And the reason why is because these pumps cannot pump uphill. They must gravity the water. So this allows the gravity to start into these two initial water containers. And the purpose of these is these serve as a buffer for the filters. There's nothing in here currently. We're actually falling a little behind. And I think some of that is because of where the water is going. I don't know if I have enough pumps for this system. Still testing it based off of where things were in closed beta 3. Um, so I'm, I'm really monitoring the system to see where things are at. I most likely need a fourth pump, and then it would be two pumps to a water barrel. Come on, get up on the thing, please, thank you. You see here, there's nothing in the output. It immediately goes into here, immediately goes into those. And I set this up in a way that it makes it really difficult to uh, get around in here, so one second check. There we go. This one here goes also up to my um, kitchen. So I have some water for my uh, fermentation barrels and so on. So likely I just need a bigger pump setup. With that said though, gravity takes the water to the water barrel. Now, the water will not flow directly into the purifier because it is uphill from the barrel. So I have the purifier going up to a wall to a pump and then still uphill to the purifier. This is important because this pump if it's below the water tank will pump in both directions up. So it has to go from its source, uphill to that pump, uphill to its destination. It's very important to do. So once it reaches the water purifier, um, it takes a while to fill this up, but it then starts to purify it's important you try to get this as full as possible. And this is why I say I'm starting to, uh, I need a fourth pump because it's not quite keeping up. You want ideally all four slots in your purifier full because each one of these ticks off at the same rate. So when this is full, it's going to trigger all four of these. We'll see just in a second here in about 16 seconds. Oh. Now we get all four. We got one in there. At the very last second, we got a couple in. And it's going to trigger one off of each of those. See? And now it's going to start the process all over again. From the purifier, it goes uphill to a pump, uphill again to our reservoir. And this means we don't need any pumps from here on further. 
our reservoir will water the garden. Now, I have a very large garden. You likely don't need, but I'm, I'm also feeding a hive. So you likely don't need anything this big, but this is what we got. You'll see here, none of these have lacked for anything in here. Uh, and when we access this, they're all full. They're all spraying. Um, good job. As far as the lights go, ultimately, you want your lights set at 60% at, at, at 60 for their light source. That covers the range of every plant currently in the game at 60. Oh, sorry, 80. I got them confused. My bad. 80% light and 60% on your water, on your irrigation facilities. Again, I have one tank. This close one here serves the far irrigators, and the, clo the, the further tank gets the ones that are in this line. I got four irrigators to a tank. In the closed beta 3, we're about three irrigators to a tank, which is why I am saying I need a fourth pump to be able to keep up with this. And th this is bearing out. It, yesterday was the first time planting the garden and checking it all. It does seem to be working, but it's not quite keeping up. So I'll need to make some adjustments to that. As you can see, works well. I have 96 crop plots in here, and they're arranged in groups of 12 for each irrigator. So I placed my initial six, put the irrigator as tight to the pile as I could, then placed the next six on the edge of that irrigator. Same with both sides, then the next group, and so on the whole room. I, I just use standard fertilizer with this group, so we're going to pick what's ready. Looks like the saffron in the corner is not quite ready yet, so we're going to harvest the whole garden and see where we get. No, we don't want to replant yet. Maybe we'll get lucky. There was a couple of deviated plants in here. Perhaps we'll get lucky today and get uh, hey, going a little too quick with the harvesting. Like I said, I used standard fertilizer for this first set. There are <clears throat> additional fertilizer options. We'll go over as soon as I'm done harvesting. Those are not done yet, that's right. Come on. Go. Alright, so it does not look like we got the mushroom. There is two deviations from what I understand. I've yet to see them myself this this uh, launch, but there is a onion, grumpy bulb, and a mushroom deviant uh, only from deviated mushrooms or deviated onions. See our inventory here. We picked up 39 peppercorn, 90 wheat, 15 morels, 9 onions, 
115 mushrooms. We got eight tomatoes, 18 cucumbers, two deviated mushroom, two deviated corn, and uh, and 55 standard corn. With a group in the corner of the saffron, not ready to harvest yet. So the garden works. Um, if we were to go and start replanting, let's go to our morals, morels first. As you can see, I was using standard fertilizer. There are several types of fertilizer. You have your standard fertilizer. You have a mutation boost fertilizer. This is to help things become deviated. Uh, this is very important for a lot of the high-end cooking recipes that require deviated crops or farming uh, grumpy bulb or the mushroom deviant. You have growth boost, so they will grow faster. You have a breeding boost, so you will get a higher chance uh, a higher number of seeds when the plant is fully uh, mature that's good for propagating and increasing the size of your uh, seed stock you have a compound fertilizer which has several different benefits all in one and then you have the yield boost fertilizer which as you can see increases the yield when the plant is fully mature those are all unlocked in the memetics section of your cradle. Down here you get fertilizers 1, which is your yield and growth. Then you have 2 for the breeding boost, and 3 for the mutation boost. And like I said, we'll go ahead and replant. Get the morel, the morals, morels. Not sure exactly how people would pronounce that one, but I call them morels. And the nice thing they added now, when you go to replant your seeds, the one you last planted will automatically move to the top of your list. So you just go ahead and. Go on to the next. We needed peppercorn. Plant those. Peppercorn is very important for a couple of the recipes. And hopefully, now that we've got our garden running, We'll have plenty of food. I'm the one that's uh, chosen to do this for the hive. It's very important within the hive, given the limited number of specializations that we get, that um, people specialize. I tended to get a lot of the far the um, cooking related specializations, so I chose to make a large garden to help feed the hive and the other members of the hive contribute. Hopefully this has been informative to, informative to you all, and you can uh, learn something from this video. Okay. Planting, just carry on, and the whole thing will be done. So to recap, pumps you want raised, so they can gravity feed into tanks as a surge tank. Then from the surge tank, uphill to a pump, uphill to your purifier. Purifier, uphill to pump, uphill to storage tank. And then the storage tank can gravity feed down to each of your irrigators. Lights. At 80%, irrigation at 60%, and you should be covered for any seed you want to plant within your garden. Uh, busy bees, very helpful 
to help with the uh, chance of deviations as well as helping your crops grow. And uh, hopefully this helps you all better understand once humans world of pipes and planting. You found this video helpful my first uh, short-term content so please bear with me while I look into this more in the future but uh, if you all liked what you saw please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button you can also check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Darius underscore frost I live stream daily um, currently once human but a variety of games and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the content take care everybody